let us understand what is the meaning of the word lockdown lockdown means a situation where people are not allowed to leave or enter a particular building or a premise or a complex or a city or an area due to an emergency the emergency can be if there's a bomb scare in a school so no one allowed to leave or enter the school but today majority of the world more than 50 percent of the countries in the world they are under lockdown and the reason is because of COVID-19 coronavirus disease 19 or coronavirus disease 2019 and I have received hundreds and thousands of questions on the social media especially on the Facebook that why is Dr. Zakir Naik silent as far as the issue of coronavirus is concerned it's more than few months it's more than three months since the issue is there and today we see every Tom Dick and Harry every second person is talking about coronavirus so why is Dr. Zakir Naik silent and I have two reasons why I'm silent and I'll be breaking the silence today number one today the world has become a global village and especially because of the social media you have a lot of information and a large portion of it which is either fake or is it false news and we find today every second person whether Muslim or non-Muslim is commenting on coronavirus and because of the fake news on the social media about coronavirus about COVID-19 and about the fake news that has been made by different people it's causing more harm than good so I didn't want to add to it I will give you a few examples in the month of January 2020 the video clips by made by some people showing the Chinese being affected by the COVID-19 and they're barking like dogs they're behaving like animals I being a doctor I know that this is not true because the COVID-19 does not affect the brain it affects the respiratory system so these were fake videos of videos recorded during other times and attributing it to coronavirus or COVID-19 there's one person who is giving the treatment for coronavirus saying you have onion and he gives the basic description in detail how should the onion be cut how you should eat it and he said within 20 minutes the coronavirus will be killed in your complete body and you will have negative testing all these are nonsense and causing more damage than good to humanity I'll give one more example there's a person who's trying to be very logical and he shows on the video on the Dettol bottle it's mentioned that this Dettol it kills coronavirus and he thinks see the manufacturing date is 2019 that means that all which was made in UK they knew in advance that coronavirus is going to spread in 2020 they made this that all before that to kill that means everything is planted no, this is nonsense the person is a fool he doesn't know the basics of coronavirus because coronavirus was discovered in 1930s what we have today is COVID-19 it's one species of coronavirus so that's the reason we have to be careful we don't have to unnecessarily pick up news from the media from the social media from the news and repeat it without verifying it and I'm shocked I'm shocked that even many dies many who are popular some of them have been my students they're talking about the treatment of corona of coronavirus number one when they say coronavirus it is not the same as COVID-19 COVID-19 is one type of coronavirus which I speak later on inshallah and they give solution even dies I'm shocked giving solution about coronavirus how to treat COVID-19 which is not the speciality and they're even speaking about Islamic aspects which is not the field most of us dies we are not fuqahas we are not mujtahid and they're giving instruction or not to do something which is fard let the fuqahas do that let the mushtay do that a die cannot and imagine if you're wrong what will happen because our beloved prophet Muhammad said that while giving fatwa if you're qualified if you give a right fatwa you get double sawab if you give the wrong opinion wrong fatwa yet you get a single sawab
But if you're talking about medical aspects, which is not your field, whether right or wrong, you are responsible for the damage caused. It is wrong because today, very few people in the world know about the details of COVID-19. Even I, though I'm a medical doctor, I'm not qualified to speak on COVID-19. There are few people like virologists, like immunologists, those who are specialized in epidemics, who are specialized on virus. A small section of the medical field, they are qualified. So how can a die just read a newspaper and repeat it without verifying? Even if it turns out to be right later on, you'll be irresponsible. Similarly, giving fatwa is not our scope. Let the focus do that. That was one of the reasons that I did not speak about COVID-19. But since the people requested me, thousands of them, and all the requests were talking about coronavirus, I will speak a couple of minutes on coronavirus to show you the difference, to give information. Coronavirus, people know about coronavirus since decades. Let me tell you that the coronavirus has got various species. There are about 20 species of coronavirus. And most of these species of coronavirus, they do not affect the human beings. So when they say coronavirus, there's this damage, actually, they're giving misinformation. Most of the coronavirus doesn't cause damage to the human beings. There are five species. There are eight species which cause a problem. Five of these species cause a very minimal problem to the human beings. There are three species which really are detrimental and cause a great damage to the human beings. If you read, the coronavirus was first discovered in the animals in 1930s. It was first discovered in chickens, which caused a respiratory tract infection in the chickens. Later on, in 1940s, it was found in mouse. And in human beings, the first time it was found was in 1960s, and it was called human coronavirus. And the first time the word human coronavirus came in the print media was in 1968. As I mentioned, out of the 20 species, out of the 20 species available of coronavirus, only eight affect the human beings. Five are very mild and doesn't cause a major problem with human beings. The three are detrimental. Number one is the SARS coronavirus. SARS is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, S-A-R-S, coronavirus, C-O-V. This mainly spread in the world, it was declared a pandemic in 2003. It started in 2002 in China, it mainly spread in 2003, and 2005 was a, 2004 was the life last that last that it was seen. So SARS coronavirus mainly spread in 2003, it started in 2002, ended in 2004, after that it wasn't seen. It was mainly a respiratory tract symptoms were seen. It was declared as a pandemic by the WHO. And the second one is MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. This Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, it spread in 2012. And it affected about 2,494 people in the world. And about 858 people died because of MERS. It spread in about 24 countries, and yet they're keeping a track. As late as the end of 2019, the report said, there were 2,494 cases in the full world over all these about 10 years and it killed 858 human beings. That means a mortality, a death rate of 34.4%. Whereas SARS coronavirus, it had infected 8,098 people in the world and killed 774 people, less than 10% death rate. That is 9.55% death rate. Recently, a few months ago, came the third coronavirus species which was very deadly for the human beings 
and that was COVID-19. Corona virus disease 2019, also called as SARS-CoV-2, that is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus 2. This was first came into existence and notified to the WHO was in the end of December 2019 and the infection started a couple of months, some say November, some say October, some say uh, uh, earlier in 2019. What I give you information is about coronavirus which is there and you can, it is already established information. You can go to any medical journal, any medical site and the information will be somewhat similar. COVID-19, coronavirus 2019 disease, it is new. We aren't aware of the details. There is no established treatment for it yet. There are research is being done. So if the medical fraternity who are specialized in this field, if they give the comments, it's okay. But every Tom, Dick and Harry talking about the treatment, talking about to, to take care about it, and the Dai is doing it, is not our field. Even if it turn out to be right tomorrow out of fluke, that doesn't mean what we did is that because the Quran clearly mentioned then Surah Hujura chapter 49. Verse number six, when you get the information, you check it up, check its reliability. So if the medical experts themselves don't know the authenticity, how can we talk about it? That was the reason I kept silent on this issue. And now what I've spoken is on coronavirus, which is not COVID-19. It is, it is the family of the coronavirus. What I can tell you about COVID-19 that as of today, if you read the WHO, it gives the case one year, uh, one day before, as of today, the 24th of April, 2020, 158 GMT, 158 AM or 10158 hours GMT, 2.83 million people all over the world were infected in more than approximately 185 countries and 197,245 people died. And if you calculate the percentage, it comes to 6.97% death rate. I don't say this is accurate one because, you know, there are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of them yet infected by the COVID-19. And because they have not been tested and most of them are asymptomatic, if you come to know the actual number of people infected will be much higher. So death rate also, but naturally will come lower. So this was a brief information about the COVID-19 and for the people who take care when talking about coronavirus, about COVID-19, let us understand and try and find out what is mentioned in the seed of the Prophet and the Sahabas about the epidemic diseases. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, Hadith number 5728, our Prophet said that when you hear news of the break of a plague in a land, do not enter that land. And if in the place where you are staying, a plague breaks out, do not leave that place. The same message is repeated in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, Hadith number 5729. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said that when you hear about a break of the plague in the land, do not enter the land. And if in the country you are staying, a plague breaks out, do not go out of that country, not exit that country. A similar message is also repeated in Sahih Bukhari, point number seven, hadith number. 5,730 and there are various such hadith it giving us a little bit of similar thing what we have in the lockdown that do not infect others by going out of a place and do not get infected by entering a place in which the epidemic is there. It's also mentioned in Sahih Bukhari in volume number 7 hadith number 5,000 707 that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that run away from a leper like you run away from a lion. 
you know, because leprosy is contagious. So you don't have to come close to it. You have to stay away far from it. Giving us what today the medical fraternity tells us was already advised to us by our prophet 14 years ago. It's also mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah, volume number four, hadith number 3544, that when a group of people came to take bayah, came to give allegiance to the prophet, one of them was a leper, one of them was a leper. So the prophet sent a message to the man that go back and your bayah has been accepted, your allegiance has been accepted. And there's one more hadith in Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, hadith number 5734, the Hadith Aisha, may Allah be the wife of the Prophet. She said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said that the plague was sent as a punishment by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the people who he wanted to send. But for the believers, it is a blessing. And if a believer stays in the land which is infected by plague, having faith in Allah and believing that nothing will befall him except what Allah has ordained. And Allah says that to such people who die, they will be given the status of a martyr. That means such case if a person dies a Muslim, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having faith that what Allah does is correct and ordained for him and not fearing anything else, if he dies, he'll be called as a martyr and will get the sawab of a martyr. This is the guidance that we get from the hadith. 